Why do caregivers baby talk old people? I never did that. I made it a point to operate within the framework of my client's reality. Always. Not once did I meet an elder who thought they were a baby. Or needed babying. Most of the people I cared for professionally would look at me and assume we were of similar age. That often meant they wanted to go to school, college, or go to a young adult activity. I would pick up my 83-year-old patient and we would go for a long drive or play basketball, or swim, she would see me and think we were around the same age. It's part of infantilizing. It also commonly happens with adults of any age with a developmental disability or lower cognitive functioning. I work in healthcare. When I was in college, I was doing a rotation in the hospital and helping an old woman put on compression stockings. Without thinking I did a little high-pitched, whoop, as I was pulling each stocking up. The way one might when pulling up a little kid's socks. She looked me right in the eye and said, Honey, I'm 80 years old, not 8 months old. You don't talk to me like that. I was mortified at the time. But looking back I'm so glad she said that because she taught me an important lesson about respect. That day. That was over 15 years ago and I remember it vividly. Core memory created. It's also a lesson I try to pass on to younger folks in the field. You are right it is sickening and offensive to treat the aged as if they are incompetent without. Troubling to know if they really are. My second pet peeve on the subject is the default, speaking loudly almost yelling at the person based on the assumption that they are hard of hearing they may not be they you have found my pet peeve i am over 60. i am neither stupid deaf nor decrepit i detest it when people call me hun honey sweetie sweetheart or anything like that i'm fine with them calling me by my first name just don't treat me like a deaf moronic invalid another one is how are we today I answer, I'm okay. But how the hell do I know how you are? Quote. Yeah, it's super annoying. I also work in healthcare and my colleagues call the Spanish-speaking patients, mommy and poppy, and. The worst of it is that those colleagues don't even speak Spanish. Nurses are bad enough but once my whole family was out to dinner for my grandmother's 90th birthday. And then waitress turned to me to ask me what she wants to eat. My replied, I don't know. Ask her. Quote, the waitress looked shocked that my grandma could speak for herself. She was old. Not deaf or mute. I hate when aides and nurses call my mom sweetie or hun and talk down to her. Out of respect treat her like an adult. My mill said this once to me while she was in the hospital, I swear to God I'm gonna strangle that woman. She told she nurse she wasn't a child, but said nurse kept talking baby talk. My God what do they teach these people? While my grandmother was dying in the hospital, she got so upset with the staff that she told them to leave her alone and stop speaking to her. She spoke perfect English but still retained a mild accent from her mother tongue. They treated her like she was an incompetent toddler who didn't understand English and didn't take anything she said seriously. My dad had to step in for her all the time. She wasn't a sweet old lady. She was a smart well-read resourceful and independent adult woman. She was far from incompetent. It was infuriating and we're still bitter about it years later. Now, when I hear someone baby talking a senior, I seriously just want to punch them in the face. I have seen that with my dad. He had a master's degree and taught graphic design. Yet the people at his assisted living talked to him like he was a toddler. It takes everything in me not not yell at them. I'm an in-home Heath aid and for me it's the family of the woman I'm taking care of infantilizing. Her and talking about her as if she's not there that I hate. Yes she's 94 but she's very sharp. It's so rude I feel for her. 
read carrying water for elephants. It's written from the point of view of a retired circus veterinarian. The most striking thing about his experience is that he's still all there mentally and mostly physically. Yet the people that run the nursing home speak to him like he's a small child. I remember finishing it and thinking, is that really what I have to look forward to? Quote dot. Because there's an old adage that you have two childhoods. One after you are born and the other one before you die. That being you are dependent on others for basic needs and you are not self-sufficient. Also it is common for the elderly to suffer dementia and Alzheimer's. Where they usually are more similar to children mentally and perhaps this is why they are treated. As such. Oftentimes those who do not suffer from these are still treated like this because of their dependency on others, even though this is unfair for them. I know it drives you nuts. And I agree. The only one you can control is yourself and you seem to be doing a great job. Keep it up and set an example for your peers. I'm sure many of your patients appreciate the fact that you treat them as adults and not idiots. I don't talk baby talk to babies. If someone did it to me in my elder years they would get an earful. Maybe water tossed on them too. When I was in nursing even school many moons ago, it was stressed pretty heavily that using infantilizing language was unacceptable when working with anyone other than actual infants. Calling people honey, sweetie, etc. is a no-go. You treat everyone with respect and speak to them and about them in a way that affirms their dignity and humanity. I never said, potty, to my kids either. And never used, cutesy, names for any body parts. People of all ages can and should be spoken to in a way that respects them and their desire to understand their bodies and health. I accidentally did that this week to a patient. Called it a blankie. I immediately apologized. I am taking care of a newborn at home and am on baby talk mode. I felt really bad about it though. I don't understand this either. I have cared for elderly and disabled family and they don't need anyone to do that. It's just odd. When they talk to my dad as if he can't understand when trying to explain what's going on with my mom at the hospital. They're enunciating too much and they raise their voice it's so annoying. When I would ask the question and they answer they tone down their intonation and voice. Like my dad isn't deaf so WTF? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.